What's up, drum heads? There are three things that I love. Drumming, skateboarding, and building shit. So the obvious choice here is to build a bass drum pedal out of a skateboard. YouTube is made for this! So first, I went to the local skate shop, which actually has a skate park inside of it. So after a quick little session, I checked out their box of free effed up boards. Either this is a really cheap blade, or the grip tape is destroying it. Probably should have done that first. I'm actually very surprised with my woodworking abilities right now. I guess the way that I'm thinking of it is like, I have the pieces and the pedal is somewhere in there. But I have to just find a way to, you know, sculpt it. And the hard part is just being patient, I guess. But I know if I take it slow and just be patient and like find the right tools, like figure out what works and what doesn't, then um, eventually I'll get the way the pedal looks, I guess. It's very slow, but I'm enjoying it. It's pretty therapeutic. Should've done that in the first place. Idiot.
I made a mistake. First off, I put the templates on the wrong ones. This one is supposed to be thicker. This one's supposed to be thinner. Fuck that up. And I laid the templates wrong. I wanted both of the grain to go this way, but this piece when it's on the pedal is like this. So then this piece would be like this. And I just, you know, I can't have like two pieces of wood going different directions. I just can't. The perfectionist in me will die inside. And I've already put this much effort in. <sighs> so I'm redoing it. And I'm running out of wood, man. This is all I have to work with. That's it. Check it out. So nervous for this part. Why is this thing bent? I just bought this. <laughs> wow, that's fing crooked as shit. Okay, we got a delivery. So I was originally gonna half-ass this project and use like nuts and bolts, but we're not doing that anymore. We're going full ass. I ordered a bunch of DW9000 pedal parts from drumfactorydirect.com. Can I board myself? Yeah, I mean, I spent $100 on <laughs> pedal hardware. Chains, a bolt, this little piece, the screw that holds the beater in place, spring system things, this very important washer, those little things that go into the into the carpet that you never really use because they don't really work. Yeah, this was literally a hundred bucks. Hundred dollars. Down the drain. The amount of money I've spent on this project so far in like parts and tools, I probably could have bought a DW9000. But this is way sicker. This is way sicker. But I would also not complain if you help your boy out, hit the subscribe button, hit the like, notifications, and maybe check out my Patreon. You can help support me for my stupid projects. <laughs> Yeah, buddy.
We did it. I'm pretty stoked with how it turned out, actually. The heel plate is probably my favorite part. Like, I think I pretty much nailed it. And it looks pretty damn close to the, uh, the original DW9000. But the question is, does it work like a DW9000? I'm not gonna lie, that feels exactly like my DW9000. That is crazy. Well, it works. I don't know how durable it is. Like, I don't know if I would take this thing on tour. I don't think it's gonna break on me, but I didn't really make this thing to like use. It's like a piece of art. This is like a piece of art. Like, do you think when Michelangelo finished the statue of David, he was like, let's see how durable this is and like threw rocks at it? Do you think Da Vinci finished the Mona Lisa and was like, I wonder if this is waterproof. So yeah, instead of breaking this, I think I'll just keep it as a little sculpture. I actually learned a lot while building this thing. Like I've done some woodworking, but I've never really like filed and chiseled or used threaded inserts or even tapped threads before. I've never done that before. Son of a <gasps> But I'm basically a pro now. And yeah, all the wood in this pedal came from one skateboard. Like this is all the wood that I have left. And this grip job, I mean, come on. It's a Vans shoe pattern. I don't, I don't know if any of you guys caught that, but. Yeah, this pedal pretty much encapsulates all the things that I love, drumming, skating, and building things. So this is a really fun video for me to make. Also, shout out to Drumio, keeping me warm during these cold Philly days. Might have gotten some stains on the jacket, but. If you guys want the same jacket, check out drumio.com. Also, if you want 30 days free of Drumio Edge, click the link in the description. Bunch of lessons on there. And lastly, if you want to find out how you can win this exact pedal, all you have to do is...